internet censorship mechanisms in other countries like um, Australia and in Japan it also runs pretty rampant first of all let me um, let me share with the let, let me share um, experience of mine with you guys first um, I have noticed a very peculiar and very bizarre a phenomenon when uh, one when uh, sorry while I, I was while I was attempting to post an ad on Gumtree outside um, Australia and uh, probably New Zealand but uh, you know since I haven't been to New Zealand yet so I can't I, I'm not that qualified to make that kind of uh, a judgment of whether such a statement, such principles, uh, it still, it may or may not apply to New Zealand, you know. So let's just talk about Australia and Japan alone. When I, when I, when, while I was attempting to post an ad on Gumtree Australia, it refuses. Uh, it, all, sorry, although um, the web page tells me that the ad has been created and uh, it will be it will appear visible shortly after they they finished in, in you know they finished reviewing its contents and uh, you know but yet a afterwards almost after an indefinite uh, 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 amount amount of time it's it still failed to appear vi uh, visible on the entire uh, Gumtree Australia web website. That's that is, and uh, there we th there we go. There we can we can notice that in at least somewhere in Australia, or at least somewhere um, inside deep inside the um, you know. Gumtree Australia's server room or data center there has to be a, you know a sort of mechanism that constantly monitors the incoming traffic and it determines whether that specific traffic comes from within Australia or outside Australia you know and and the, you know the the same you I'm, I'm sure you can observe the uh, a s s uh, s um, strikingly similar f a phenomenon on you know the Japanese side DMN but I'm, but, I'm, uh, but I can't actually make the qualified uh, but I, I, I actually can't make that make such qualified judgment that DMN it, it uh, places itself you know it's Servers is data centers inside Japan, but at least this, um, you know, this particular uh, phenomena, it con it it confirms the you know it, it provides the solid evidence and it it confirms that internet censorship mechanism is. You know, it runs rapid throughout the globe, and uh, there are basically no exemptions, no um, exceptional cases whatsoever. And uh, you know, pretty much it it occurs to every country that has the access to the internet. You know, even um, even for you know for for um, less populated con um, countries like Bul um, Bulgaria, Norway, um, Switzerland, you know, these uh, these these countries, we in general can con tend, or a at least we in general tend to consider these countries always hold a you know a rather neutral ground, you know. On this planet, and yet they, their government, their regimes, you know, dic, dic, um, dictates 
dictate, and uh, they constantly per perpetuate the principle of a more con controlled, more censored virtual world, and thus the internet. And that grows and stretches even deeper and deeper. You know, so do not assume that internet censorship that, that does not occur to the Western world, to the developed world. Uh, you know, it's, it runs rapid throughout the globe. I, I hope you have enjoyed uh, my presentation re regarding the, uh, you know, the uh, prevalence of internet censorship. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching, and I shall see you on the next episode of Francis and Dead um, discussions, analysis on internet censorship. Thank you again. God bless. Stay tuned and stay awesome. Peace out. Signing off. Bye bye.